Welcome to one of the oldest cultures in the world. Egypt has stood at the center of civilization for millennia. Let's explore the ancient Egyptian influences and stunning nature, meeting with a modern Muslim nation. I'm Lex Universe and this is Egypt, the ancient child of the Nile River. So hello internet, welcome to Lex Universe. Another day in Egypt. So um, today I will take you for a tour in the, well, old Hurghada, well, the entirety of the city or town of Hurghada. But before we can do that, uh, because there are some requirements, from the Czech government right now for return back to the Czech Republic. I will need to get tested for COVID-19 here in Urgada. So if you're interested in that, you can continue watching this video after the intro. If not, um, go to the timestamp of the video and, well, you can see what Urgada looks like. I just really hope I will have some brain left after they stick it to my nose. No offense, Egyptians. Oh, I'm so excited. Well, and I was sample transfer, Egyptian style. Cool. That really reassures you. So this is gonna be really interesting. Let's see. I don't know if you have ever been tested for COVID, but it's usually very unpleasant. They'll stick it like really deep into the thing. Uh, nose. <laughs> but as you could see on the video, um, they really didn't stick it that deep. That sounds really perverty. Well, you know what I mean. So, well, if you can do it this mildly, why do all the people stick it so deep into your brain? Right, so we've left our hotel complex and now we'll explore. let's explore the streets of Hurghada. As you can see, I'm right in the middle of this kind of a large road, so I'm not sure what to expect. There are like, I don't expect any landmarks or here or something, so I don't really have a plan. I've created kind of this sort of a circle that I will go through and well, we'll see if there is anything to see except for the sea oh. that was the best rhyme I've ever did but the Red Sea over there is real beautiful, isn't it? some boats so these see those uh, white minibuses they actually serve as a public transportation here if you don't want to use a taxi or something like that, you can use Uber or Karim here. So that's a thing. But I'm not gonna. So in case you're not interested in any resorts, there you can see what the public beach looks like. I guess nobody's using it. I guess there's a lot of construction going on here. Building new resorts, I suppose. See? Yeah, tourism is basically like the Alpha Omega of the city of Hurghada. If you want to see proper Egypt, I don't think this is the place, but well, maybe it will surprise me. It's really strange, like this dichotomy of the luxurious resorts and the normal living areas. And here comes our first mosque today.
Oh shit, she's deadly. Not very pleasant streets in here at all. I mean. So, some people point me towards this mosque, but it seems to be under reconstruction. Like the whole... The old town seems to be like, yeah, after the war. Kind of sad. So, I wanted to take you to a local bazaar, but I seem to be like walking in circles and kind of get lost, so... I don't think it is happening. So, let's check some other mosques. Is the bazaar, a bazaar. So I was almost inclined to say that the traffic here is not as horrible as I expected, but I guess I was only at some backwater road. This is awesome. By the way, if you ever want to cross the road here, there are all these speed bumpers that will make your life a lot easier. I think everybody is offering me a taxi. So, nobody in this town walks or what? Any idea what this thing is? Oh look, there's a horsey. Sweet. And more taxi cabs, of course. No, I don't want to go with you. Oh, hi there. How are you? Everybody's waving at me. Surf looks like the half of the city is abandoned. People are so friendly. It's like everybody's waving at me. Feels good. Yeah, I'm not sure what the requirements are regarding the face mask it's like from what i read it should be worn they should wear it in all public spaces but um i don't think anyone is wearing it outside just inside so i just kind of went local and trying to do the same as they are <clears throat> just trying to do the same as they do but i'm not sure if i'm breaking any law or not It's actually Qatari mosque. It's kind of funny because <laughs> Egypt hasn't. It's like Egypt didn't recognize Qatar for I don't know four years or so. Um, but it's beautiful, isn't it? So if you're searching for any landmark in Urgada, well, this must be it. Almina Mosque. Probably the main landmark of the whole city. Very beautiful, isn't it? So now I found myself in this sort of abandoned zone. Kind of spooky. And then my friends, was Urgada. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it interesting. Um, it was kind of an interesting city. There was a lot more than I expected, to be honest. I really always thought that it's just the resorts and nothing more. But it has kind of an interesting city center in the old town. Um, and yeah, unlike Nairobi, I never felt like really threatened or in danger. So that was kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, um, tomorrow comes my last day here and we will go 
in the semi-submarine to watch some wildlife under the sea. And if you like this video, please give me a like, subscribe to my channel, check out my other social media and see you next time. Have a wonderful day.